Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you uh, this afternoon, early afternoon, going into afternoon time very shortly for a album review. And this is for Demi Lovato's new album, Holy Fuck, that I just got done listening to. But I'm going to have to change the title of the album for the F-U-C-K word because I don't want to get in trouble with uh, YouTube community guidelines so I don't be in violation of my video potentially being flagged or whatever or something like that or getting a strike so I'm gonna have to put stars around the word the F word of course so I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for Demi Lovato's new album Holy Fuck her 2022 album that I just got done with a bit ago and let you know my thoughts on it so let's dive into this uh, album review now it starts with the song Freak and featuring Youngblood and that was a decent song it wasn't my personal favorite but it was something at least um there's some moments where I like it and then when the pre-chorus comes in it just gets weird for sure but in a way, I think it sounds alright. So, 4 out of 5 for Freak. I think Youngblood sounded good vocally in this track, in my opinion. And so did Demi Lovato. But she had some weird quirking moments when she was singing the track at the pre-chorus. And going into the chorus, it just... I don't know if it suited well over me. But still, uh, 4 out of 5. Skin of My Teeth has grown on me a bit more. It's not my personal favorite song because I don't like the I'm just trying to keep my head above water, I'm your son and I'm your daughter lyric. It's just weird for sure. It it doesn't suit well and kind of makes you cringe a bit in my personal opinion with that lyric. But other than that, the song performed decently in my opinion, so 4 out of 5. Substance is the second single that came out for this album, and I did review it if you want to go check it out uh, back in July. I think you guys might enjoy it, but still. Substance was actually a solid track. wasn't hating this song. But, yeah, um, some of the beginning of the album just has some weird, controversial lyrics that I don't know if I could get behind on and praise it too much but yeah still a uh, substance pretty solid track i didn't hate the drum work in this song and the guitar work was pretty good and demi lovato's vocals was really good so 4.5 out of 5 eat me featuring royal and the serpent was a pretty awesome song really enjoyed this it definitely rocks for sure uh there's some moments where Demi Lovato sounds good vocally at the beginning, and the chorus comes in really strong with just really intensifying lyrics and all that. Really somewhat controversial lyrics, but other than that, song did pretty excellent, so 5 out of 5. And Royal and the Serpent, their singer, was sounding weird with how she was singing, but it performed pretty well in my opinion so five out of five for eat me holy fuck the title track was a solid track not my personal favorite there's some moments where i don't know if i feel for verses in the track because they tend to get a little slow and sluggish but then the chorus comes in and it comes in pretty strong i guess so the verses are kind of basic the chorus is the strong part of the song so 4.5 out of 5 and 29 is the next song after that and that was a solid one i definitely did a review for it yesterday if you want to go check it out i have some issues with this song but it's because of the lyrics mostly because the lyrics are really weird for sure um and just it's not that it's weird, it's just controversial lyrics and on-the-fence kind of lyrics. Uh, but still, 
4.5 out of 5 for 29. It's about her ex, Wilmer Valderrama, uh, from that 70s show. And, yeah, it it was when they were dating at the time in 2010, and she was 17 and he was 29. So, he it's pretty much a diss track towards him. So, yeah, that's what the song is basically known for so 29 is getting a 4.5 out of 5 don't know if i'm feeling for this diss track um happy ending was another solid one this is where the album starts to get a little bit better as it progresses so happy ending i'll give a 4.5 out of 5 there's some slow moments in it that i don't know if execute very well if they execute very well the slow moments i mean but other than that, the song performed good for what it was. It's a solid track. So 4.5 out of 5. Heaven is another song that I don't know if I'm sure if I like. Because there's some weird moments with Demi Lovato's vocals in the track. And I just don't know if I feel for it. So 4.5 out of 5 for now. Because... Maybe the song might grow on me after repeat listens. The guitar work and drum work is pretty good in the track. That's for damn sure. Uh, City of Angels is a song about Los Angeles, of course. Um, and it's a pretty solid track. I enjoyed most of it. So 4.5 out of 5 for this one. There's some moments where I don't know if I'm feeling for the chorus. But other than that, it did alright. Uh, so 4.5 out of 5. Bones was a weird one for sure. It was short, but it was a weird one. But I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5. Wasted was actually a pretty good song for sure. I like Demi Lovato's vocal range in this track when she's singing the chorus and all that. Uh, it was really good, and I really enjoyed this song, so 5 out of 5. Come Together is another great song from her. I really enjoyed this track for what it went for. And just how she's singing the track sounds really f phenomenal. Meaning it's really good. So 5 out of 5 for Come Together. Dead Friends is a solid track. Just don't know what I think of it right now. But I have to go back and listen to the rest of the album. But the rest of the album gets better as it goes on it. Starts off pretty weird and on the fence, but then it gets better as from track 7 to 16 and all that, sort of. I think the middle of the album has its clustery moments, but when you get towards the end of the album, it gets much better, for sure. So Dead Friends, I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5. Help Me featuring Dead Sarah is another solid one. Don't hate this track, just don't know what I feel for about it right now so 4.5 out of 5 feed was another track that is all right it's good for what it is i guess so uh there's some moments with the chorus that sound all right with demi singing the lyrics and all that for the chorus but other than that didn't hate this song it's good in its own way so 4.5 out of 5 and finally forever for me is one of the most mellowest tracks on this album, but does have some drum work in it as it goes on through the rest of the song, but it performed pretty solid, uh, so 4.5 out of 5. Overall, production, mixing, and execution, I think Demi Lovato, holy fuck, this album was good in its own way, it's just the beginning has some weird wonky moments of the album so wasn't sure if I was feeling for the beginning of the album but other than that overall I think Demi Lovato holy fuck which I will have to blank out some of the wording for the word as well so I'll probably have to put three stars instead of two stars in front of the FNK so with that being said first score for me I'm giving Demi Lovato's holy fuck album giving it a good rating of an 8 out of 10. It was good in its own way. It just has some on-the-fence lyrics some of the time through this album, but other than that, the ending gets much better towards the end of the album. So that's a good thing.
So it kind of sparked, kind of needed that spark to make the album execute well. So 8 out of 10 for Demi Lovato, holy fuck, uh, album. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the new Demi Lovato album, holy fuck, if you've heard it. Um, it is coming out at midnight tonight, so if you did enjoy this uh, album review I did for you guys for Demi Lovato, holy fuck, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on this album review. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I will have another album review for I Prevail, True Power, come out soon. And Lone Wolf's Grand Theft Audio and some other albums as well. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this Demi Lovato Holy Fuck album review. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Sorry that I dragged it out this long. I just had to go into some explanation with some of the tracks and what I thought of them overall. But it's a good listen, so 8 out of 10. So with that being said, stay safe guys. Take care. I'll have another review come out as soon as I can. And as always, I will see you in my next review.